hello guys welcome back to this channel so hope everyone is fine on that note let's start this video so before getting into this so if you are new to our channel please subscribe our channel like this video and share this with your friends and make this video accessible to each and every one of your college so everyone will get benefited through this so guys please watch the video till the end without skipping if you skip the video you may miss some content so do watch full video guys so for the past five years we are giving the solutions regarding the various in NPTEL courses so for this season also we are will try to give for all the uh, weeks so keep supporting us guys please spread this word within your whatsapp groups and share this information with everyone so that it it can reach maximum number of people and we, everyone will get benefited through this so now let's see the week one assignment solutions for ethical hacking course guys i hope every solution is almost correct but if you feel there should be any changes to be made please give your opinion in the comment section now let's see the first question which of the following points is or are true for an ethical hacker so i think no option is correct here so the remaining one is none of this because uh, the ethical hacker will try to uh, gain access in order to make the security strong but not the below mentioned reasons so it, they are not correct now let's see second one second questions so for second question which of the following statement is or are true so for second question the correct answer is option c guys in the gray box model the tester has partial information about the network so mark option c now let's move on to the third one third question which of the following statements is or are false for a packet switch network so for third question i have got only one solution that is option b a communication link is dedicated to a connection and cannot be shared with other connections so friends here i got only one solution there uh, there may be chances of other solution also but i got only one solution so it's better to go with one solution only if you do not uh, know the exact thing because you we can get even partial uh, mark also right but i hope there is only one solution for this so if you got any other solution please give your comment in the comment section now let's move on to the fourth one so fourth question which of the following statements is or are true for datagram datagram based packet transfer approach so here for fourth question i have got three answers option a b and c so mark a b and c now let's move on to the fifth one the fifth question what is the purpose of the port number in tcp by ip networks so the answer is option c guys it uniquely identifies a running application on a specific host in the network so mark option c now let's move on to the next one so guys before getting into the sixth question i want to uh, make you make a small announcement so guys uh, actually we have prepared the exam preparation mcqs for ethical hacking course so here there are two packs available guys the first one is savings pack and the other one is super savings pack so in both of these packs you will get the pdf access that means uh, you will be getting access regarding google drive link so that you can get uh, the validity till the exam day guys till the exam day for both these packs 
but the speciality of uh, I mean the difference between these two packs is so here the number of MCQs is 150 and in super savings pack you'll get 300 MCQs that means more practice so you'll get through more number of bits more number of MCQs you'll get more practice and you'll get better preparation right so it's better to take 300 packages so the uh, so the 300 pack you will get more number of bits so here if you see here the number of mcqs is 150 and the price is double guys so 300 but if you see this super savings pack you will get 300 bits but the price is not double it's not 600 it's just 500 only so it's better to take this pack and we have nearly five years of experience in doing this so we have choosing uh, the handmade questions and also the previous year questions and it's a mixture of that so you'll get the validity till the exam day and the benefit of this 300 pack is that means uh, the 500 rupees pack is you can get access up to five members that means the price is 500 but individually if you divide this by five so per each person it will take just 100 rupees right similarly to here also you'll get you will have to purchase with 300 rupees and access is only for three members right for this pack so it's also same 100 rupees only per each person so i request you to please form a groups in your class so that you can five uh, you can form five members and you can purchase this uh, super savings pack it's better because you're getting 300 bits right so the topics coverage is also medium in uh, the the first pack and if you coming to uh, coming to this super savings pack the topics cover is also very high because of 300 bits we cover we can cover more topics and also both in both the pdfs you will get search option and it is also easy to revise before going to the exam right because it's a pre pdf and you can easily scroll that so think smart guys so that you can choose this pack the 300 mcq pack which costs 500 rupees so it's better to take 500 rupees pack you are getting more mcqs so uh, really what matters here is the more number of mcqs is important for preparation of exam so pre prepare from now itself so you'll, you'll get better for the final exam so my recommendation is this this pack guys so if you want any of this pack you can please mail to me for this mail i will give the same mail in the description and comment section also so please share this news with your friends and in your student groups and do that accordingly guys so now let's move on to the solutions once again. So sixth question, which of the following is not a valid port number in TCP by IP? So for sixth question, the correct answer is option E 80800. That is option E. Now let's move on to the seventh one. So seventh question, which of the functionality does address resolution protocol ARP perform? So for seventh question, the correct answer is option A, map IP addresses to hardware address addresses. So answer is option A for seventh question. Now let's move on to the eighth one. So in eighth question, question is which of the following statement is or are false so for eighth question i have got option c tcp provides connectionless unreliable delivery systems for packets it's not correct it's correct for first two i think so option c is the false statement as they have asked us moving on to the ninth one so these are uh, related to the blanks guys so for ninth question the answer is three Three is the answer. Now let's move on to the tenth and final question of the assignment. So here the answer is sixty-five thousand five hundred and fifteen six double five one five. So friends, these are the solutions for week one assignment of ethical hacking. So hope this video helpful for you. If you feel the same, please subscribe our channel, like this video, and share this with your friends. And also don't forget to share this news. So choose accordingly, guys. So I recommend the three hundred pack is better for you because you are getting 300 number of MCQs. 
so that's it so until the next video goodbye thank you